Hi and welcome to this video on graphs you should recognize at GCSE level. Maths made easy. First of all, let's have a look at straight line graphs. They have the standard form y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient and c is the intercept with the y axis. In the equation, there should be no x squared or x cubed or 1 over x or square root of x. Here we have the graph of y equals 2x plus 1. So we can see that the c is plus 1, it crosses the y axis at plus 1 and the gradient is 2. By gradient we mean the y units divided by the x units or the rise over the run. Here the x units if we count them are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and the y units are 4, 8 divided by 4, 2. y equals 2x plus 1. So let's find the equation of this line. The gradient is 6 minus 3 and the intercept is at plus 1 on the y-axis. So if we put that into our standard form, the standard form of the equation, we get y equals minus 2x plus 1. Try and write the equation of this line. Remember the gradient, m, rise over run, and c, where crosses the y-axis at plus 7. So this is y equals 7 plus x, or if we rewrite it, y equals x plus 7. These graphs are called parabolas, they are, and the standard form always has an x squared as the highest power of the variable x. They're a symmetrical shape and if they're positive the shape which is a U shape not a V shape, a U shape is upwards and if they're negative, if there's a negative bef before the x squared term then it's a downwards U the standard form is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. The b can be 0 and the c can be 0, but a can't be 0. a is a stretch, it doesn't move the vertex. b moves the vertex and c is the y-intercept. Here we have a graph of y equals x squared, a smooth U shape, goes through the point 0, 0. And if we see where we plot the points, so we have 2 here as the x, then the y will be 4, and symmetrical about the y axis. If we now add an a or change the a in the standard form of the equation, say we're using a as 4, we get y equals 4x squared. This is a stretch, it's as if we get the original graph, the original parabola, and stretch it upwards, and we get this new blue line parabola, still going through the vertex 0, 0, the vertex remains unchanged, but it, the slope of the graph becomes steeper. Here we're going to change b and c and see what that does to the graph of y equals x squared. So here in red we have the original y equals x squared. We squeeze it when we go to y equals 4x squared and then when we have the b 
as 6, 4x squared plus 6x, we change the vertex. The vertex is minus b over 2a. That gives us x, and then we plug that into our formula to get our y. So the x minus b over 2a, so that's minus 6 over 8, and that gives us the x just here. And then the y value we get by plugging the x into the formula. Adding a c value or changing the c value, this moves the vertex up by the value of c. So here we have it moving up to give us this purple parabola and from here it's moved 6 units up. Plus 6, the value of c is also where the parabola crosses the y-axis. The minus sign before the a or before the variable flips the parabola in the x-axis. So this is minus x squared. This is minus 4x squared where the flipped parabola has been stretched and the slope becomes steeper. Minus 4x squared plus 4x. The b changes the vertex and finally the C minus 5 we go down the y-axis by 5 units. In an equation when we have the highest power of the variable x the highest power is 3 x cubed then we have a cubic graph it's called a cubic graph this is like a wiggle shape. A plus starts at the bottom and goes up. A minus equation starts at the top and goes down. The standard forms given by y equals ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus t, where b, c, and or d can be zero. Here, if we let our x equal zero, we get y as d and this is where the curve crosses the y-axis so d where the cubic crosses the y-axis here we have y equals x cubed starts at the bottom in this third quadrant and goes up here we have a minus cubic highest power x cubed we start at the second quadrant and it goes down here we have a reciprocal 1 over x and these are different ways of writing it wherever these graphs are, these graphs are all look similar but the minus graphs are in opposite quadrants to the positive graphs so there will always be this kind of curved shape in quadrant 1 and quadrant 3 if it's a positive equation and if it's a negative the opposite quadrants this smooth curved shape which looks similar whatever the number over the x. Square root of x graphs they all have the same basic shape start at 0, 0 and a smooth curve upwards. Minus square root of x a flip in the x-axis and square root of minus x a flip in the y-axis. These two lines on either side of the x in the absolute value of x, this is where we ignore the minus sign and just con 
consider it as X they have like a V shape and here we have minus absolute value of X which is a flip in the X axis try and write the equation for this graph stop the video and try and write the equation for it here we have e to the x e is Euler's number which is two point something and two to the x or a to the x a positive number to the power x these graphs again look similar they always go through the point zero one and then rise steeply the greater the number two three four five to the power x the steeper the slope after the zero one and between this y negative x and y axis so this slope becomes steeper and this slope becomes steeper natural log graphs they always go through the point 1 0 x equals 1 y equals 0 and finally let's ha compare the purple graph which is the natural log graph and this one which is e to the x and they have a line of symmetry which means they are the inverse of each other